Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. And to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. If a reading doesn't resonate, please don't try to force it to fit. Please feel free to take the roles and reverse them as needed. And <clears throat> as always, thank you for being here. I hope everybody's doing well. So let's see. We're just going to go ahead and hop right into the reading. This is the energy. So the first card out is the Knight of Wands. So somebody could be trying to return to you. Whoever this is has very flighty energy. This could be a fire sign who is down in their 20s or mm, let's see what else. The Ten of Cups is here. So there could be something about a group of happiness or a group of happiness. That's weird. A group of people or something to do with happiness or this person trying to return to you because they feel like you are where their happiness lies. Except the way these cards have come out, the Knight of Wands has their back to the Ten of Cups. So somebody could have put their back to their family or to a group of people. The seven of coins is here, so there's something about um, investing in something. So someone could have put their back to some place or someone or their family to invest somewhere else. The strength has come out, so whatever this has to do with, this could have been something that tested your strength, or there's something where you were having to face down something that had, it's like what I, maybe somebody walked away from you, and you had to be very strong to continue to move on, or to start over. The Three of Coins is here. So this is talking about a partnership. This could be talking about a partnership that looked like the Ace of Pentacles since this couple has their hand on only one of these pentacles. Um, so you could have come together with somebody where you had your own and they had theirs. And this could be your own money, your own children, your own assets. Um whatever it is, whenever you came together with this person, there's something about you being equally matched to them. Hmm. This could be somebody that you were married to. Um, this could be a Taurus or an Aquarius, or those two signs could be somewhere in whatever this reading has to do with. The Hierophant is here and the Star. So there's, this could be talking about a marriage where somebody left their family or walked away from their family, or they walked away from something where there was a partnership or some kind of spiritual commitment. So this could be, um, parents, this could be family, this could be a marriage, um, this could be a business contract. Uh, there's something about somebody leaving and they could have committed somewhere else while you moved on. And now this person, it's like they're trying to maybe to come back to, I'm seeing somebody who's outside of somebody's home. So it's like someone who could be in a relationship with somebody else that they've invested a lot of time with. It's like there's something about them needing to be very strong because they want to come towards you to partner with you. 
but there could be something in the way. So there could be like a marriage in the way or a contract in the way or a commitment to somebody else or something. And it's like, well, this person, they could be coming to a home that you no longer live in or they could be outside of your current home. And this doesn't need to scare anyone. This could be somebody who's like thinking about going to your house because they want to talk to you. But you could be on a different path. You could already be at a place where you are healing. And let's see, what is this? You could be healing and um, you could also be healing your finances. There could be a lot of um, either communication around money or something coming toward you very quickly. Or this could have had to do with money. Uh, the devil has come out. Every time I see this card, it makes me think of a bunch of snakes, but this is just ropes around two people. So there could be some communication about finances and that this is what it's. There's something about finances tying two people together. Where one is, it's taking everything for them to to stay strong in whatever this has to do with, and the other one, like, made some flighty choice really fast, and now they're trying to come back. So both people are stuck to whatever this is. It looks like it's like some toxic bond or karmic bond or something where there's forces outside of you and this other person that are controlling. Um, interaction or controlling this bond or controlling something that connects the two of you and I'm seeing a person one person trying to get themselves out of a trap and the other person going back to where the trap is so um, this is this is like returning to the scene of the crime and spiritually the person who is trying really hard to get out of this trap, you have elevated your spirit energetically. There's something about you um, healing and knowing that this isn't where you're supposed to be, that you are. You have a path, you have something that's destined for you that is not this. Um, this is you committing to a higher power. This is you being connected with the divine. This is a partnership with the divine. But then there's somebody else here who it's like they're, they know you're stuck because of something they've done or something to do with finances or communication or both. And it's like now they're coming back and it's like they're trying to, to take a look at something, but they're trying to do it almost in, it's like a check, like just to check in. Like if I go by, um, maybe I won't knock on the door, but I'll just see if the collective's car is outside. Or maybe I'll go by and I will um, just drive through the neighborhood a couple of times and see if I see them walking their dog. Or maybe I will, um, I don't know if you could hear that. It was my dryer. It sounds like it's unbalanced. So this could be somebody who is unbalanced, but it made me think of a knock on a door. Um, so it's, for some of you, this person could be considering doing that or they could be sending you messages they could be messaging you something about family in order to tie you to some sort of a toxic bond it's like they think that you have to respond if they talk to you about something that has to do with family or finances this could be an Aquarius or a Taurus um, at the bottom of this deck is the seven of wands so you need to know that you are protected and you're on higher ground whenever it comes to whatever this has to do with. You may need to handle them in a very concise way when they come towards you. So it's funny because she has a blindfold. Or that's what this looks like. I can't really tell what's in this card, but it looks like she's holding a blindfold. Like It, it makes me think of the Two of Swords where um, the person on the card, the image, has two swords and a blindfold and so it's like there's the blindfold has been ripped off you see this person so when they come towards you it's there's something about not being confused anymore about the way that you need to handle them 
This could be leaving this person feeling sorry for themselves. Whoever this is could be at a place where they um, are drowning in their own tears or drinking a lot. Um, with the King of Cups here too. So there's something about someone, someone could be crying or being very emotional about this ending that you have with them because they know that you're protected. They know you're on higher ground. Whoever this is could be, um, they could be going through a dark night of the soul. This person could be, it's like in the place that they get to where they're feeling sorry for themselves or very depressed or very down or low, they have some kind of an awakening about what's happened here and what they've spent their time on. Um, yeah, the two of coins is here. So this is talking about somebody who is trying to balance something that's going on with them internally. Oh, and there's the two of swords. So this could be this person, somebody who's confused and off balance. Um, it's like they are hanging on by a thread. There's one small misstep or one small change of how agile they are whenever it comes to whatever it is that they're trying to balance and everything's going to crumple to the ground like a tower. So someone is going to be coming towards you, it looks like, and it looks like you are not confused about whoever this is. You could have this person blocked. Um, because you have already moved on from whatever this is energetically and spiritually you're no longer connected to this person there's something about greed here this could be somebody coming by just to see if you like it's somebody's checking your temperature like, will you still speak to me or will you let me in? Or if I use the thing that I know that you would normally cave in about, can I do that? To And you're being told to hold back from whoever this is because it's somebody who is being gr greedy whenever it comes to um, money or energy. Yeah, this person's in their ego. They could want to trap you. Because they are feeling trapped, this person is looking at something differently and seeing, maybe they're, they're seeing themselves. Maybe they're seeing what they could be, because I just heard in the upright. So this could be somebody who wants to release themselves from this position, this hangman position, because there's, in this reflection, it's like somebody's standing, it looks like someone's standing up instead of hanging upside down. So there could be somebody who is wanting to make amends, make peace because they feel like they left their family behind or they left something where they should have invested. This could be somebody that you lived with or who was part of your immediate foundation Whoever this is, whenever you were with them, there was something here that was stable. At some point, this might not have been always, but there was something that at least appeared stable from the outside. You're moving on very quickly from this person. You could have a victory coming your way and then peace immediately after over this person with toxic energy. Um, this is something that you've manifested. Whatever this has to do with, there's something about you having all of the tools to be able to succeed in whatever this movement is in order to get past the situation or have a victory or succeed somewhere because the chariot um is also like gladiator energy like two people against each other for some of you there's something about the dark and the light or um something that's black and white so for some of you this victory could be black and white like 
there's no confusion about who is the winner. There could be a karmic feminine and a child um, that someone is wanting to walk away from or that somebody did walk away from because of uh, selfishness or this is something that they are going to do because they want to give something to a connection somewhere else. So this could be a union with you or with someone else. This person's trying to juggle whatever that has to do with. So there's there could be something here about somebody wanting to come towards you to give you something, but they're in a connection, or this person is wanting to leave that connection to give to another connection that has nothing to do with you. A seven of wands, a queen of swords, and a knight of coins. So these... Cards have come out together, so <laughs> it's weird. So it's, what I'm seeing is like somebody coming to towards um, this person in the chair with a coin and money. So, and then this person has their hand out with their blindfold off and their sword out. So it's like that's what I just saw at the bottom of this deck in the shadow energy. There's something about someone coming towards you to give you something. And there's no way, like, they know that they have to. Like, there's this pentacle that they're giving you, but they could also be giving you whatever is here. There's something that is being seen, or you see something, or you say something. And whatever this interaction has to do with, you have your sword out, and this person is not even armed. So it's something like, this is somebody that you don't trust, or that cannot be trusted, or you feel like they have lost your trust. That could be what... Uh, where the blindfold has been removed. Um, but the Seven of Wands here, like, it's it looks like an angry mob down at this, the bottom of this hill. So, someone's coming towards you very slowly to give you something, and they could be giving you something and also something else. So, money or... An, Money and something else that's material is what this looks like. Because it would have to be to be in this bag. Hmm. Let's see what else the cards bring us. Uh, the King of Cups, the Ace of Coins, and the Knight of Cups is popped out on top of um, these cards over here, the Knight of Coins and the Queen of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So these are clarifying these cards. So maybe somebody's bringing you money and an apology or money and emotions or there's something about somebody coming towards you with loving emotions and also you receiving money. This could be coming in slow because the way that this came out was sideways. So... This could be something that somebody is having to give you that they don't want to give you. Because of something to do uh, with some kind of hierarchy. So this could be um, a judge or um, something to do with a contract or an inheritance or a ruling. The Ace of Swords is at, the, is at the bottom of this deck, so that's the message. Oh, they could be giving you something because of a judgment. But there's also something for a lot of you where they're coming in and they're doing this because you will not talk to them unless if you have to talk to them, it's like you don't you don't have anything nice to say to this person. You deal with them in matter of fact ways where you're very short and brief, or maybe you don't deal with them at all. Maybe they send you stuff and you just don't say anything to them. So, what is the energy for the collective? Show me the collective. Oh, 
nine of wands. So you could feel, um, don't give up. Whoever I'm speaking to, please don't give up because there's the nine of wands that you're right there at whatever this is, whatever the end of this cycle is. And um, you could feel like this isn't going to end. Um, but there's just something that you cannot see. So your energy could be one where you're just exhausted from whatever this has to do with, but you are on the cusp of something. So show me what else for the collective, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, whatever it is that you have been working on that is exhausting you, it's like that's what it is that's going to come in for you. This could be work specifically or it's something to do with finances or um, something material. You could have love coming towards you. You could be receiving a love offer or the page of coins is also happy news. Um, so it's like something, it's like somebody has been digging for treasure for a very, very, very long time and they think they're never going to hit pay dirt and then all of a sudden this happens and they pick up the ace of coins. For some of you, you could be getting the Ace of Coins and the Ace of Cups, or there could be something to do with a child and an overwhelm of emotions whenever it comes to whatever this thing is that you've been working on. So this could be a new idea or a new business venture or a new job offer or something to do with work that you have been working on where you're finally going to receive something. And for some of you, whatever this is talking about, it's like you have been working very hard and maybe even exhausting yourself and doing something where nobody around you is supporting you. So it feels like you're being attacked from all sides, but you're still, you go to work every day and you sit down and you work on these pinnacles. And it's like, <laughs> there's something about these turning into real pinnacles, like things that you're investing in turning into actual money. So let me see what else. There's something about something ending with the community of people because you are manifesting something. You could be manifesting some kind of an ending with a karmic couple um, where this, whatever the ending has to do with it could be um, fighting or chaos or a bunch of back and forth or competitive energy that you don't want to participate in, in anymore. Somebody could be coming towards you to apologize. For some of you, the person that's going to apologize is the karmic, uh, whoever your ex is, that person is going to come towards you to apologize. The, or they're going to come towards you with... Hmm, with energy, with an apologetic energy after a fight and where you win something. Or there's an ending here with the karmic couple. And you could have children with whoever one of these people are where there's been a lot of fighting and there's a victory. Oh, and the six of the six of wands is being clarified by the wheel of fortune. So, your energy is it's like something that you have been working on for a very very long time. You could have put in a lot of money um, and a lot of time and a lot of effort and you could have felt like you were not going to get to the end or that all of this exhaustion wasn't worth it or that you were just losing money and you were never going to get get whatever it is that your end goal was and you are going to there's something about you getting to a place where you hit pay dirt and I don't ever say that so that's significant um, yeah you have something really good coming in here and it has to do with your connection to the divine it has something to do also with your fire energy something about you being passionate about whatever this has to do with and people are going to see that 
this can have to do with passionate communication or something to do where somebody was wasting time, wasting your time, and that could be seen. <clears throat> This could be a king of coins. Um, there could be a marriage that this is speaking of. The king and queen of coins have come out and the moon and the two of cups and the nine of swords. So this is talking about you and somebody else. That's what I was seeing at the beginning. Okay, so somebody that you were in some sort of a connection with where you and this person both had material wealth and that doesn't have to necessarily be finances for some of you it's something about um your time that you were able to put into something or money you were able to put into something or energy that you spent on something so if you and this person i'm going to give an example where it's not both money if you were with somebody and they made a lot of money and you got to stay home while you were at home the energy you put into the home like cooking and cleaning and taking care of yourself and taking care of your pets and plants and if you had children with this person then taking care of the kids and getting them to school and packing their lunches and packing um, your partner's lunches and doing all of that all of the energy there's something about you and this person being equally yoked and this person is looking back on that part. That's what I was saying at the beginning of the reading. Somebody is starting to like look back at either... I'm getting somebody who's thinking about going by your old home or um, something about a home that you used to live in with them or something about um, a happy home or something about where it is that they've invested their energy now and how they feel like they're having to use a lot of strength in a place that they're currently investing in where with you and this old home, this previous space, there, there wasn't a whole bunch of effort. There was, it was equal effort. So this person went to work every day and paid all the bills and then you were in the home all day long and even though you were not earning an income, you were still putting a lot of energy into your home and your life and that space. And there's something about this person looking back at how they turn their back on you or a family or a group of people. For some of you, this could be work. Somebody's thinking about that they shouldn't have left a job. But for most of you, what I'm saying is this is someone who is with somebody else and they are I'm not sure what's happening here with them, but there's something about them having anxiety about some illusion that they were in. Um, it's like somebody's coming out of the fog and they're starting to have anxiety about turning their back on you or you and your children. There's something about whatever it is that they've invested in. They could be with a karmic Sagittarius or there's someone here who's really impatient and impulsive and that's what this is highlighting right now like someone who is let me show you this card this is someone on a horse and they've got candles and it's like they're looking at a house but it doesn't look like they're trying to go inside the house they're just outside of it trying to decide and there's something about that like somebody looking back at an old home that you lived in or for some of you, this person, when they're with, they're not with um, their person, when they're not with whoever it is that they're with, they drive by the home that you used to live with them in. And it's like they're, there's something that's happening inside of them where they're thinking about what they have done. And it's it has something to do with the person that they're with. It's very hard with that person. There's also something here about a victory and something that you have been working on and they could be feeling that. And there's something about them having to give you something. So this could be a payout on, there's a lot of money here. 
where somebody has to give you back something that you paid for by yourself because of something they tried to do to cause an illusion or deception or to try to kick you out of your flow state. Whoever this is, is somebody who betrayed you? Show me this Knight of Wands. Who is this character? What is this? It says Master of Libation, Small Talker, Alleviator. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody who's going by your house or thinking on you fondly or something like to alleviate some pain that they are in with somebody else or this person could be drinking a lot. The person that they're with could be a bartender. This says unemployment, solitude, hunger, bankruptcy, wandering. When they wander alone, they do something that has to do with you. And they feel like they're either at a loss of money or like they're gonna, that they don't have a home to go to. Even if they are living with someone, they, the house isn't a home just because it has four walls. There's something about you putting energy into something. And whatever environment they're in now, it doesn't have that same warmth. They could be drinking a lot to alleviate whatever they're feeling. So civil servant, guardian of public good, public official, administrative duty, public administration. So somebody could be being served with something. Or this person is, it's like now they're looking at you like you are a good person. Oh, and on this card it says composer of harmony. Creation, passion, soulful sound, celebration. That's what I'm getting. It's like whatever house they're in doesn't have a soul. It has no warmth. It has no light. It has no... Um, it's not a place of peace or tranquility for them. Like It's a place that they feel like they have to work very hard to be there. I don't know why I'm seeing that. I'm seeing somebody digging with a shovel in their living room. Like if even that is a task, like being in your living room with inside of this home is very difficult. Anything else from this deck? Child, this says beacon of hope, spring buds, innocent, growth, and vulnerable. So someone all of this could be surrounding a child or there could be children involved in whatever the situation has to do with or you could be somebody's child. Um, there's something about innocence here and growth. Um, at the bottom of this deck it says lawyer, keeper of justice, law, cases, defense advisor. So you could be in um, a legal case with whoever this has to do with. This person could have tried to influence something to go their way. This could be a father figure, or I could speak, be speaking to somebody who's a father, but this could be somebody who is a follower. Like there was some sort of challenge that they were supposed to meet or some sort of um, defense that they were supposed to put in place for a child or for something that was innocent. And they were challenged by someone who um, their behavior was criminal. So this is someone who was abusive or being violent or doing something. This could be an abusive mother or this could be an abusive mother figure. This is someone who did something um, for some kind of transaction. So whoever this is that... It's, there's a lot here that I'm seeing. So someone 
should have defended their family possibly even if this was a family that they had already separated from so there's something about protecting children protecting a bond for children and someone came in to challenge this bond and whoever this person is this um paternal authority figure they could have behaved like a follower instead of a leader this is someone that's what I'm seeing somebody's in a legal battle but the person that came in and influenced them could have been someone who had their own MO this could be somebody who was doing something that was um like seeking something out of out of chaos like they were trying to cause chaos for their own personal gain because they are misguided whoever this is you could be someone who tried to defend something here um, defend something that had to do with loyalty or honor or trying to put in some sort of um, boundary or protection over something that was innocent or a child. Whoever this is could be telling some kind of story about the way that all of this happened. And they could be trying to give you something. Hmm. There's, there's a lot of messages. Is there anything else from this deck? It says repairman, employee, careerist, and learner. So there's a lot of energy here of something to do with work or something that you have been working on. You need to know that you are making progress and whatever this has to do with, whatever your aspiration is as far as um, the direction that you're going. There could be somebody here who's helping you. Somebody could be helping repair, restore, restart, or renovate something whenever it comes to the situation, this family situation that has to do with kids or something to do with your career. You could be um, getting asked a lot of questions about something soon whenever it comes to someone who's been doing something where they're scheming. This says consultation, so this could have to do with an attorney. This looks like a legal team here. So you could be having a consultation with an attorney or this is information saying that you need to so that you can give them some information about whatever it is that's going on to give you the information on how you need to repair this connection and not and that doesn't mean to reconnect with this person but Repair it in a way where you are protecting yourself or protecting your children or protecting your assets or pr protecting um, something. There's somebody about some grand plan. For others of you, there's something about somebody learning that somebody was being um, mechanistic about the work that they were putting in and they were covering it up as though they were trying to repair a connection with you, but this is somebody who was actually, they were doing some grand plan where they were out to take something from you or cause you to be bankrupt or cause you to um, lose something, lose your passion for life, lose your career, put you in legal battles to tie you up and, you know, costing you a bunch of money so that you would be forced to quit. 
And this could have been over children or finances. Or that's what they disguise this as. This really just looks like somebody who has um, an impulse issue. Like they do something and then they're like, oh, maybe I should not have done that. But now I've gone too far. Because they're coming out as the Knight of Wands. It's the very first card that they showed up as. So this is someone who um, has done something to stab you in the back. And they did this very foolishly. This was something that was very impulsive. And they feel like they missed an opportunity with you now. But when they did it, they didn't have any issue with what they were doing. They did it intentionally. They did it with thought. Like, with a plan. Not just being present in the moment of what they were doing, but they also had some grand scheme of the way that this was going to work out. You need to know that you have justice coming in to free you from whatever it is that you have been bound in or imprisoned by. There's going to be some balance restored here. There's going to be some truth that's revealed. There could be a divorce happening. You may need to get some rest. And this is what's going to help you move on from whatever... Um, this connection is or whatever this story has to do with whoever this is they are feeling very very down and very hurt and I, I'm seeing a lot of energy of somebody crying like someone when they're maybe when they're alone they start thinking about everything that's happened or how happy they used to be with you or Maybe some feeling that they had whenever they were in a connection with you versus how they feel now. And they feel empty. And you need to know that the cycle is ending. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading here. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.